hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have an unboxing now this is an unboxing that you would have probably in a never thousand and never in a thousand years have guessed you would be seeing this soon on my channel by now you know where this is from let me give you a little bit of a backstory if you're new to the channel when this company first came out uh, they opened up February 13th. I was asked to be an ambassador before they opened. We didn't see eye to eye. So they asked me to step down as an ambassador, which I gladly did. And I told you guys in my last review that I would buy from them again. Why not? They're a U.S. based company and you guys know I love U.S. based companies. So after the whole problem with them died down, um, I did opt out of getting emails from them because I figured if they didn't want any parts of me, because essentially my name is a three, a four letter word to these people. So if they didn't want anything to do with me, there was no point in them sending me emails. So I did opt out of getting the emails, but for some reason I still get them. I'm not complaining. I'll just delete them if I don't want to, you know, deal with them. Every once in a while they have a promotion. I'll look at it and I'm like, yeah, that's not worth it. But on Easter I got an email stating that they were having a buy one, get one free. Um, there were two canvases on their site that I wanted. Um, I decided, you know what? I'm going to give them a try. I do have quite a few friends that are ambassadors still for them. And I hold no animosity towards this company. It's business. So... When I asked my ambassador friend how were the canvases, she said they're absolutely perfect. She didn't have any blurry symbols. Her canvas wasn't fraying. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give them a second chance. I will try them again later on in the year to see because I'm not sure if they would have sold out of the canvases that they started off with in February by now. So we are going to take a look and see if there has been any changes between February and now April. So let's get into it. That's enough talking. Now, when I made my order, there was an issue. Not with them, with me. I made a mistake. So when I went to go purchase this, for some reason, and I didn't do it on purpose, for some reason, my father's address popped up. And I'm only the only thing I can probably think of is because I ordered him, the last order I made with my card, i made with my dad, for my dad, for his two canvases. I'm guessing that's why when I placed this order, it apparently made it, or it, when I placed the order, it put my dad's name and address on it. And I didn't see the shipping stuff until it was already too late. I had placed the order. So I had to contact customer service, which I felt was great because I need to also check because last time when I, reviewed this company their customer service was absolute garbage so when I talked to customer service it did take them a little bit to get to me not too long like it wasn't like I sat there all day I was there sitting there maybe 15 minutes waiting for somebody to respond they did respond and they were super nice um the first thought that went through my head is they obviously don't know who I am <laughs> only because they were so nice to me I don't expect these people to be nice to me because I wasn't very nice to them um, actually I thought I was pretty cordial with them. Anyways, we're not going to go back into that dark hole. Um, so the, the customer service agent was nice. She was like, you know, how can I help you? And I told her I just placed an order, but for some reason, um, I accidentally put my dad's address. Is there any way you can change the address and make sure that the buy one, get one free is still active on there? Because when I placed the order, the free one, the free kit got kicked off of my order. And I thought for sure, okay, they're just messing with me because they realize who I am and they're not going to give me the free kit um, because this was supposed to be exclusive to their VIP members. So if you got the email, then they would have sent you an email later on that evening for the buy two or buy one, get one. So I was like, okay, they obviously realized who it was. They weren't going to give me the buy one, get one. I still don't know because I haven't opened the box yet, but I had the problem first with my dad's name being on my box. So I was like, could you please change the address to my address? So I gave them the correct address and they changed the address. And then she made sure that both the canvases that I wanted were in the box. 
So I said, sweet. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And then I went to go check the site. Now, when I checked the site, it still had my dad's address. So I asked her, you know, hey, do you know how long it's going to take for it to change on the website that is coming to me and not to my dad? Because as you guys already know, or if you don't know, my dad lives in Pennsylvania. I live in North Dakota. So I don't need it to go to his house. I need it to come to my house because he doesn't do Facebook or, or he doesn't do YouTube videos. So uh, I kind of need this. And she goes, it, we changed it at our facility. We didn't change it on the site. Don't worry. It'll come to you. I was super paranoid. I think I contacted them two more times. I'm like, are you sure it's coming to my house? The lady said, yes. She showed me the, or she told me the packing thing. The only problem I had was the fact that I forgot to tell them to change the name on the package. So where they changed the address, if you can, hold on to me, make sure I, as you can see, my package still says David Harris. And there's the apartment 114. So that's my apartment. So it still says David Harris. And I was like, crap. But then again, I know my well man, my mailman well enough that I know he'd give me the package. So when the package came, I ordered this on Easter evening. So around, I want to say, Jeremy Fryer was live. And I was in there with Crafting with Christy. We were all hanging out, having a good time. So I want to say it was like 9, 10 o'clock maybe. This package sat for three or four days in Chicago, or not Chicago, I'm sorry, in California. Not sure why, don't know why. I asked Crafty with Christy because I believe she also ordered something and she goes, yeah, mine sat there for a couple of days, but then it finally moved. Hers moved before mine's did. Mine sat there a whole nother day before it moved. So I'm going to say it was like three to four days it sat in California and then I ordered this, so it was Sunday last week, and I got it Monday this week. So it took it eight days to get to me from California. I ordered Diamond Art Club on a Thursday, and the following Monday I had it, and they're in Nevada. So I don't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing their shipping is the same. So shipping, I still say it sucks. The shipping for Dreamer Designs still sucks. I don't like the shipping. But let's get into it. Let's see if I actually have the two canvases that I ordered. I have my packing slip here. And from the looks of it, yes, yes, I do. They changed it, so I was able to get what I ordered. So right out the bat, you have your packing paper. And packaged in there beautifully are my two Dreamer Design canvases. Now, again, I'm not going to hate on them. All companies make mistakes. All companies deserve a second chance. If I didn't give second chances to companies, I wouldn't be doing business with Diamond Art Club because my first experience with Diamond Art Club, we, we had some words. We had some words, but we worked it out. So I'm just saying, why can't I give people a second chance, right? Right. So I ordered two kits. And if you can't tell, they're not the big kits because I don't want to get another disaster like San Juan's Canyon. Um, I did put up a review on their website, which they rejected. They didn't want the negative review up. The reviews I did see said that the canvas was perfect. And I, of course, obviously 100% disagree. Um, and I'm sitting there thinking as I'm watching these, you know, these people put up their reviews and they're like, this canvas is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who's the colorblind person here? Anyways, let's not focus on the negativity, shall we? All right, so we got two canvases. We're going to open that one first. They are shrink wrapped. And I didn't order the big canvases because if you remember, there isn't a whole lot of difference between the big canvas and the small canvas. So I was like, there's no point in me spending an extra however much. And I did notice that their prices did change by like 10 bucks. So I think their bigger ones are now 40 bucks. And then the smaller ones are like 30 bucks. So, I mean, I'll have the correction to that. because I know it's not 100% correct. I'll have the correction to that pop up on the screen, but I thought that was pretty cool that they did change their prices because they realized, or they may have realized that what they had isn't what they thought they had. Um, take that for what you will. As you know, Dreamer Design boxes come with a handle. It has wide diamond paint on the side. It has premium diamond painting canvas kit. It has the features of your canvas. It has... Uh, 
the contents. You get six steps to how it works. And on the bottom, it'll tell you what you have. And I ordered Round Valley Aspens. It's a 30 by 40. Oh, I'm sorry, a 40 by 30 because I can't read. So let's get into this box, shall we? Now, in their typical form, their stuff comes in a bag in the box. Now, I do like this aspect of it because it keeps the elements from reaching your contents. So if, say, the box, the outer box would have gotten damaged, uh, it would have gotten to this box. If this box would have gotten damaged, this was still in plastic. So I do like the fact that they put it in the plastic. I made that, I think I made that point before. We're going to get that all out here. If you don't remember what a Dreamer Design Canvas Kit, oh my gosh, they actually listened. I am highly impressed right now. So if you remember, um, they support, you know, working with friends. So they added an extra drill pin into their canvas or their, their kits. Now they didn't add the extra boat to go with it, but they got, they, they, they at least added an extra pin. So you have two squishies, two pins, two multi-placers, two plates of wax, one boat, and then the baggies and the nice tweezers, which I'm not going to pull out because as you can see, maybe it's already splitting. So I don't want to mess with that. And also, if you can see on the back of their boat, it does say Dreamer Designs. But I, I like the fact that they added the extra pin. Again, it comes rolled up with a rubber band and then the big CVS receipt. And this CVS receipt tells you that it, it gives you all the languages front and back. I believe there's 12. That is the biggest receipt I've ever seen in my life. We do have some discoloration on the edge here. I'm not sure if that, that kind of looks like mold, to be honest. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm not drilling that area of the canvas, so I don't care. So it does come on a foam roller. And because they also use the pour glue method, I am going to roll this the opposite way. And then we will take a look at the drill field, because if you guys remember, the drill field was part of the problem. Now, as I can see from the edges of the canvas here, they have not fixed the fraying issue on their canvas. So it's still fraying. Yep, the canvases are still fraying and there's a big strip of it there coming off. Oh, we're gonna stop pulling that now. Wow, yeah. So the canvases are still fraying. So for anybody that says, you know, I did that. Yeah. But here is the picture. I do like the fact that I can see this picture a little bit better than I could with San Juan's Canyon. I really wish one thing I didn't point out in my last, um, my last unboxing of them. Take a look at this image. Now I'm the colorblind one here. Okay. Take a look at this image. Take a look at this image. Is that the same? No. You want to know why that's not the same? Because what they do is because they when they computer generate this, they take Photoshop and turn the vibrance and saturation all the way up, super extra all the way up. And it makes the pictures come out more vibrant than they are originally pictured. The vibrance doesn't need to be turned up on that. That is a soft pastel colored painting. This painting is going to come out mostly blues and greens. So already I can tell you off the bat, that's what you're getting. So if you look on the website and you look on their boxes, that's not going to be necessarily, that's not going to be what you get. This is what you get. So just a heads up to those who, you know, are curious and have never purchased from Dreamer Designs. You are not going to get what's pictured. You're going to get something that's a little bit more dark vibrant saturated so so far that canvas is going to be a wash um let's look at the drill field see if we have any blurry symbols here so far and of course things look better in camera but if there's something blurry we'll be able to find it and we're going to take a good look at this canvas because the last time I didn't take a good look at it and I thought everything looked fine and it didn't. 
it looks like they fixed the little green dots because that was, I remember that was one of my issues with my last canvas. On this canvas, it has two colors of blank space, which is that yellow and this color here. I'm gonna, I haven't found the finger. This color here, which I think is green, maybe red, maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so symbol clarity so far looks good from first sight. Those arrows are looking to be a little blurry, but not horrendously. I know what they are, can differentiate them. Again, that's not exactly what I wanted. So they still have issues from what I can see. They're still having issues with oversaturating. And I am literally two credits away from having a photography degree. Okay. So I know all about saturations and vibrance and all that kind of stuff and Photoshop. This image has clearly been Photoshopped. Um, every once in a while, companies will Photoshop the image to make it look better. But in this aspect, the way they're doing it is making it look worse. So where you're wanting this, you're getting this. A lot of people would be unhappy with that. But there are some of people that love that. They love the fact that it's super saturated with colors. So that is my first image. I am going to um put this away but first we're going to take a look at the drills now last time i had absolutely no issues with their drills and i don't want to take them out of here but as you can see i'm going to have to so mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds all right so we have these two colors here. And again, um, they, on their canvases, their legends are up and down. So you have the, can the sorry, bring it down so you can see it. They have a legend up here, legend down there. Now, their canvases are not in numerical order. So if that's something that bothers you, which it shouldn't, you can put them in numerical order yourself. But I know OCD, that does bother a lot of people. Uh, here are two of the colors. And then we're going to go through these here. Again, the last time I worked on a canvas from this company, I had zero issues, very minimal trash. I will say that it looks to be about the same for this time because I'm not seeing any trash. But it's, you know, not to say that there will be, but you don't really know if there's going to be trash until you actually, like, get into it. Yeah, see, like, this color, that color should not be in this picture. Like, that is gonna that is just the super saturation of color that is put into this image so lots of greens there's a hitchhiker in there see it all right so that is round valley aspens by dreamer designs um i out of if i was doing a rating system out of five i'd give it a three I'd give it a two. <laughs> I'd give it a two. Let's okay. Let's let's go through a few things. One, the canvas is still fraying, and now there's stuff all over my bed. Two, which I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, if you hadn't have pulled it, no. But as you work on it, and your arm rubs up against it, that would have come off eventually, anyways. Uh, the symbols on the canvas actually look really good this time. The canvas itself, how it's going to turn out, if it turns out to look exactly like that image on top. I'm not going to be very happy, which obviously, you know, from experience with San, San Juan's Canyon, that that is what the image is going to look like. Look, look how dark that grass is and how dark the sky is. Anyways, it is a 40 by 30. The fabric size is 45 by 35. So an extra five inches all around for the canvas itself. And the reason why the fraying edges is such an important deal on the canvas is because if I were to say do a canvas finish with one of these paintings if I cut the edge of or the sides of one of these paintings if I cut this part here it is going to fray ungodly I can pick up an item called fray check from what I was told by uh I believe her name is Jennifer Jones 
Was it Jennifer Jones that told me? I think it was. Jennifer Jones knows. She knows and can find anything. So I'm pretty sure it was probably Jennifer Jones. But I'm going to have to put fray check on this to keep it from to, from continuously fraying. As you can see on the back, there is no wrinkles, must, fuss, or anything. Perfect canvas. Otherwise, besides the fact that it's going to be super saturated. I, of course, will work it up eventually and we'll see how bad it is. But for right now... Um, it looks like the glue comes over a little bit further than it used to. Can you see it right there? It's about right here. At the top here, it doesn't come over. Um, comes over a little bit on the top here. I'm trying to get the reflection of the light on it. So it comes over just a little bit. It is tacky. I know how much people love seeing you stick your finger on your canvas so we're gonna roll this back up we're gonna put this away we're gonna clear some stuff off and then we're gonna open the next canvas you ready hold please all right so now that we got through the first canvas let's get through the second one the second one i'm gonna try to get the plastic off here and i'm gonna open up the comments to everyone i don't care if you like my channel don't like my channel i'm even going to allow Dreamer Designs themselves. Now, Dreamer Designs have never commented this. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I had to remake my whole bed to get all that fuzz off there. Dreamer Designs has never commented on my videos. And after the whole incident happened, um, I went ahead and were, I, I disabled them being able to comment because there was no reason for them to start drama on my channel. After everything that they did and all the pain they caused to me and my subscribers, I didn't want them to have a chance to have a say on my channel. But for this unboxing, I will allow them to say something. So I'm going to re-enable them to be able to post a comment or anything on my channel for anyone who has any questions. So let's get into it. Second canvas. Now, again, remember, it was buy one, get one. So if I see a sale, I'm going after it, especially a buy one, get one. So the next canvas is Forest of Nice Marks. I probably said that wrong. It's okay. This is what the image is supposed to look like. And I really, really hope that they didn't mess with that image too much. I'm not sure how badly you can Photoshop that. But yeah, if I had suggestions for improvement, please, for the love of all that is holy, check whatever this canvas material is and figure out a way to produce your canvases on something else. This canvas material... It's not good. It does not work. Um, my other suggestion is, I don't even mind the rubber band and the, the CVS receipt anymore. That's the least of my worries. The fraying canvas and the oversaturation of the canvas. If they took and from the look of that first canvas, just based on that canvas alone, the canvas symbols look good. And if they were to maybe find a different material to print their canvases on, and if they were to stop oversaturating their uh, images to make it look better, I think they actually would have a good product. But that's just my opinion, and my opinion does not matter to... My, my opinion doesn't matter to a hill of beans. So let's get into the second canvas. So, again, it comes in a baggie. Again, you get the same toolkit. And you get a three-placer and a six-placer in the new toolkit that I've seen because I don't remember getting two pins in the last toolkit. And also something I realized that I didn't check for the first toolkit. Last time, the squishies, for some reason, didn't fit on the pins. They would slide right off. So let's see. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We have a tight fit, y'all. But... Oh, snap. They fixed the grippies. So your grippy is going to fit on your pin now. So that's awesome. Little baby steps. Little baby steps. I'm okay with that. They're at least making progress. That's all I ever wanted. Never wanted any animosity with anyone. Didn't want to start a diamond painting war. We are a close-knit community. All I want is love. And all I was trying to do was give suggestions. But, you know, I'm snarky. So big old CVS receipt. Y'all don't care about that. It's on the foam roller. We're going to get that out of there. And let's see. Ugh. This one actually isn't too bad. All right. So, again, refresher course since you just heard me jibber-jabber for that long. 
This is what it's supposed to look like. This is the thumbnail. That is actually probably one of the best ones I've seen. And it's still oversaturated. But it's still better than a lot of the other ones I've seen. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Because this one is actually the one I was really, really freaking excited about. Alright, so let me roll it the other way. We'll take a look at the drill fill. We'll take a look at the canvas. And these are both 40 by 30. So they're both going to be 40 by 30 drilling area. 45 by 35 canvas area. Bam! Alright, so... As you can see, and it is hard to see the image even through the viewfinder. So, yeah. Um, again, there's the thumbnail. You have all your colors there on the side. I don't know how many colors it has. I, I don't feel like counting, to be honest. Let's look at the drill fill. So, let's go all up into the business. It looks like they're working on their symbols and stuff. Because their symbols this time look way better kudos to you dreamers designs those symbols are so much better than my last canvas the or the upside down orange slices look like upside down orange slices this time they don't look like orange circles the plus symbols look good and of course, you guys know why I'm being super critical of this because last time I wasn't and I kicked myself in the behind for it. So this time I will be. The arrows are a little blurry here. See how they don't look like arrows anymore? They go from just fine right here to blurred out. So it just kind of looks like a line. But that shouldn't make it any difficult. Focus. That shouldn't make it too bad. Sorry. Too bad. Because I, I can at least... I know what those are. So like right here, those arrows are going to be a little bit blurry, but no problem. I know exactly what symbol that is. And there's no symbol like it. I think one of the other reasons why I like this canvas is there's no blank symbol. So like how the other canvas had the greenish red, maybe color and yellow. There is no blank symbol on this canvas. I love that. Look, 844 looks like a pickle. <laughs> All right. So I have to say four out of five on this one. There is a little bit of fraying on the edge of this one. I'm not going to pull it this time because it took me forever and a day to get it off the other side. Uh, the fraying is minimal on this canvas. The ca picture itself actually looks really good. Uh, they're fixing. They're, they're making baby steps. They're attempting to change, and that's all we can ask for. All I want is for a better product for our diamond painting community. That's why I do this. So when I make these reviews, all I'm doing is trying to give you guys the God's honest truth as to what is going on with these canvases and if there's been any changes. So far as I can tell, it looks like they're working, like they're actually working on making changes, which is all I ever wanted. I never wanted fighting or division between our community or segregation because this person is not cool enough to join our club or anything like that. I wanted equality of images. I wanted everybody to be happy and not everybody was happy when this company first opened. But as far as I can tell, they still have some of the same old issues, but it looks like they might actually be working on it. So let's get into this canvas here. And of course their bags are also marked with the name of the canvas. Mute your phone for 30 seconds, folks. So let's see. So because it is a forest scene, and of course it's a square, Dreamer Designs only does square at this time. Uh, you have a lot of dark colors. Some hitchhikers in there. I, say, I thought that looked speckled there for a second, but that's just the background. So, so far the colors don't look horrifically bad. That, I'm going to guess, is the sun. And of course, their bags are numbered, so technically I could just look on the bag to see how many colors it has. From the looks of it, it has 20 colors. Nope, 26. So then there's more colors here. So 
So, all right. So, so far with this canvas, I'd say I'd give it a three out of five. Um, I don't like the fact that they keep trying to oversaturate the image colors, uh, but the canvas is, the fraying is minimal. There are a few blurry symbols, but I can make those out. Um, the drills look really good as usual, packaged beautifully. The drill pins and the squishies is a nice change with the extra drill pin in there. Um, I would say they still need work on their symbol clarity and their canvases. Again, I know they want to have the nice canvas, but this material that they're using is not a good material. They need to find a new material that will probably also print their symbols out a little bit better on their canvases. But I have to say, so far, this is my favorite image. Um, of the three, or I guess this would be the fourth image I have, because I have Grumpy Cat as well. Um, so yeah, so eventually I will work these two images up to give you a full spectrum of how they are, or at least one of them. And it'll probably be this one, to be honest, because I just, I really like that image, and it doesn't look like it's going to be horrifically bad with the Photoshopping that they tried to do to it. Um, so yeah, if I had suggestions for this company, please find a different material to print this on or try to find a way to print it better. The fraying canvas can be a pain and a mess that is more of a headache than mental health healthy. Um, the symbol clarity. If you change the material of the canvas, the symbol clarity I think will also change. So finding a way to clear up those symbols because again, as you guys just saw, some symbols are clear, some symbols are not. Um, the drill quality is good. Uh, they they tell you that there's 20% more, but as I found out the first time I did uh, San Juan's Canyon, that was not true. Uh, you do not get 20% more. It It's 20% more depending on which canvas you're working on, I guess, because a lot of the ambassadors, matter of fact, I don't think there was any other ambassador that said anything that too horrible about the drills, like there not being a whole lot there or something. They might have, I don't know. I stopped paying attention after my debacle, but um. I don't believe you get 20% more drills, but as long as I have enough to complete it, that's all I really care about because really, this, really after I'm done with the painting, the drills get stored away just as extras anyway. And if I don't have extras, that is perfectly fine with me. I just would rather not run out. So I have to say all together, I'd probably give the company a three out of five. They're at least attempting to look from the looks of it. They're attempting to make changes and that's all I can ask for. All I really wanted in the first place. So with that said, that's all for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. At this point, I don't give a crap. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe and be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. What changes do you think you would like to see from this company? Do you think they should try working with a different canvas material? Do you think they should work with the one they have and just upgrade it and make it better? Do you think that they should need to work on their symbols? Do you see any changes that I didn't see? Please comment that down in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation about this. Let's let them see that their customers, who are us, we're the consumers, we're the ones paying for these. And I paid for both of them, or I paid for one of them, I got the other one free. Let's, let's let them hear what we have to say about these canvases. And don't put their canvases shit. Like, that's not nice. <laughs> so, um, either way, let's start a conversation about this. What do you guys think? Put it down in the comment section below. With that said, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, please remember to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>